All right, today's daily rehab is about getting your external rotation range in flexion. Now, the other week I did external rotation range up in abduction in that 90-90 position, which is really important for things like shoulder press. This time it's about your external rotation in the flexion range, so going this way. So if you're like me, and you've had shoulder surgery, or maybe you've just had a shoulder injury, or maybe you've just got shoulder pain, maybe you're pressing overhead, if you've got a loss of external rotation through this plane here, like that, so if you go one side and you go, oh, okay, I've got this much range, this side, if you look at my surgical shoulder, I've got that much range, which is getting better, but this side, clearly you can see I've got more range. Naturally, I can just pull that out. Now, some people have a lot of range. I'm a very tight sort of person, so I don't have a lot of range, but if you've lost a lot of range, like you just cannot get further, or if when you come up, you're okay here, and then you come up and you try and just sort of start diving in this way, and by the time you get to your shoulder, you actually physically can't externally rotate. You know you've got a tightness issue in the joint when you go above here, and that's just the fact that when you come up, the capsule tightens as you go higher. Like when you're at the bottom here, the capsule's loose underneath, when you go higher, it all tightens up, you run out of range. So if you've got a stiff, sort of shoulder joint or loss of range in the capsule into external rotation, you will find that will get caught out when you go above head. Now, what can happen is when you press up above head like that, what tends to happen is you'll tend to rotate inwards naturally because you can't maintain your external rotation. It's just too tight or it hurts. So you'll naturally press inwards, which can start causing problems over time in the shoulder joint in some people. Now, I'm also swimming, so if I come out of the water and I don't have enough range into external rotation here, I'm gonna do a really bad stroke there, okay? So I can't get out of the water. And sometimes when people, they don't have enough range there, so they can't clear it. So if you've lost your external, you don't actually have your full flexion anyway. So this is gonna be a really good mobility drill for you guys to work on. Can I get better flexion range at the top and can I get external rotation range at the top in this plane here? So for presses, like I said, for swimmers, things like that where you need that range above here. Maybe you're even doing overhead squats and you need that position there. So really important stuff. What do you do? Grab your power band. I suggest an inch wide type power band like that. Okay, 41 inch loop. Wrap that around something that's not gonna move. If you're in the gym, wrap it around a rig. If you're at home, put it underneath the sofa, like a sofa leg or a kitchen table or something like that. Put it around the base there, like that, okay? So it's wrapped around. Now, what you're aiming for, if I show you without the band, you're aiming for this movement here doing that. Now, early on in post-surgical stuff, you're just using your hand to try and crank and rotate it out. But now there's a point where you need some leverage. If you just try and do that by yourself, you get to the point where it's too tight. I need some sort of leverage to try and keep it going out. Otherwise, it's just gonna roll inwards like that, all right? So what you do with the band is put that around your lower part of your arm, okay? So not, not your elbow, okay? Well, not your forearm, not your elbow, above your elbow, if you like, in that position there. Now, what you do is you step away enough that you can still pull that out, and what this is doing is creating a leverage of my arm that way, okay? So now what I can do is easily just push that out. It's very easy for me to push that because I've got a block here. Whereas before, if I push that out and if I'm tight here, I just push my elbow out. It's very hard to me to try and pull in. Like I haven't got enough strength to pull in and push out to keep it like that. What I'll do is I'll run out of strength and I'll just let it go, okay? This is like creating a torque or a torsion strength that way to give me that external rotation in the shoulder I overpress with my hand. And so what you do is you do it through range. So from here, I can start way down here, get my sort of, I can push it out. It's very easy now that I've got this sort of band here. I just push that to what I want, and then I just basically just keep my hands together and roll that upwards there, and just go through that flexion range, 
feel that tightness kicks in and just go through what I consider tolerate. Obviously, I don't want that really sore, but you'll probably find it's a nice pain in a way. You get to the point where you go, okay, I don't want to do any more, and then come down. Now, that's a lot more better range and better quality movement than I'll be able to do without the band, for sure. Okay, you just gotta be careful how much load you put on that arm of yours. Maybe just get in the right comfortable position, right amount of tension, and then I would just go for reps. So you're coming up, go for reps nice and slow. Remember, this is a mobility stretch. You're trying to go through range. You're gonna be very strict where you look at that forearm. And you only need to go really above here to about 120, 150 degrees. Okay, because if you can get that range, this is, a, you know, this is the best way to do it. You can come to the point where it's gonna hit your face, but you get to the point where you start running out of range anyway. If you've got loss of external rotation, you won't be able to go to 180 all in one hit. So you just start baby steps. Work on 90 degrees, okay, get that right first. Once that's cleared and loosened up, you can go then hit up, can I get to 120 degrees, as in from, from your side, and then can I get right up sort of into 150. You'll get to the point where the band's gonna hit you in the face, or it's gonna, you're gonna start losing the tension there. So just be mindful that you're in the right position of the band, that you're still gonna get that nice drag. And then I wouldn't go and try and straighten the other way. What happens is you, if you do this, straighten the other way, you tend to just rotate it in. So keep your elbow bent when you do it. And if anything, if you've got good range, you wanna go, I wanna go from sort of 120, 150, try and keep your elbow bent and then just keep pushing it back, have a look at it, keep it going, and to the point where you go, okay, I can't go any further, and then come back, all right? So you might have to sort of grab on that and really push it out. And you'll be quite surprised, like, that'll feel a lot looser afterwards. Make sure you don't overcook it. But when you go back, after you've done sets of that, and I'm talking maybe sets of eight, sets of nine, sets of 10, doing maybe two sets, get used to that, maybe three, maybe, maybe four. Then when you go up and through this range here, you'll find like, oh my goodness, look at that. You can actually just crank it out once there. In fact, that's even better than what it has before. So when you can go up, you go, I feel, I feel heaps better there. Once you've got that range, then getting the rest of it is gonna be a lot easier job when you start going over here. You'll probably find swimming's a little bit better. You've got a better range through here, but you'll have to work on that every couple of days because what will happen if you've got a very tight shoulder, it'll just sort of spring back over sort of two or three days. It's not just gonna stay loose after one session, one day's worth. So you'll have to work on that sort of maybe two, three times a week, four weeks, you know, four or five weeks worth to keep that permanently right. And as it gets better and better, you're probably gonna end up chasing that range and getting as good as the other side. So give that one a, a shot. And remember, you've still got to work on external rotation in that direction, and then you're gonna work it on this direction. Happy stretching.